Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I am so happy that you have come to worship with us, the Greater Burnett Church family this morning. Listen, you're in for a high time in the Lord. Worship, praise, preaching, prayer. We're in for a great day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Like, tag, and share. Let others know that you're engaged with Greater Burnett Church this morning as we worship our true and living God. I'll see you in service.
we stand in the presence of the Lord. This morning I can hear the sound of Pentecost. Come on and give God a praise right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The hour has come and is now when the true worshiper shall worship the Father. The Father seeks such to worship him. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Then will I bring to my holy mountain, saith God, and make them joyful in my house. For my house shall be called the house of prayer for all people. David said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. No, no, ye that the Lord is God. It's he that has made us. It's he that has made us. And not we ourselves. We are his people. We are the sheep of his pastor. Come on, come on. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come on, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure to all generations. The word of the Lord is blessed. pray heavenly father we come before you this morning on this morning god god come come holy spirit come holy spirit come with fire this morning father we look to you this morning because god you are our keeper you are our comforter you are our everything god and god we come we want to feel your presence here this morning Father, we lift up our souls unto you this morning, God. And Father, we ask this morning, God, that we would feel your presence in this place this morning. Uh, from the front door to the, to the altar, Father. And Father, we ask in your precious name uh, that if anyone under the sound of our voice this morning is in any distress this morning, Father, we know that you are a healer. Father, you are our Rafa. You are our healer, God. And we know that it can be done this morning. Father, we look to you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, 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 we call on you this morning, God. Oh, Father, let us feel you this morning. God, I love you this morning. God, we praise you this morning. God, we want you feeling to feel you this morning. God, we ask you, just like the men in the upper room, Father, sit on top of us, Father. Burn with fire in our souls this morning. And then, Father, we ask that you will anoint the man of God as he come with the word, with a fresh word, Father, from your throne of grace. And, Father, that it will run from the crown of his head. The anointing will go to the sole of his feet. And we give you praise in this place this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.
whether you are here physically or virtually, I want to know, are you glad to be in this service? I said, whether you're here physically or virtually, are you glad to be in the service? I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you glad? Be in the service one more time. Come on, let's praise the Lord today. It is Pentecost Sunday. Let's give God some praise. Just give somebody an elbow. Tell them, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! I'm glad, I'm glad. Even in a pandemic, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Glory to God. Hey. Glory, 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 glory. Now, one more thing before you sit down. There's a great preacher on the east side of this city. And he has this expression. He says, if there's a praise in you, let it out. So I'm going to borrow... Dr. Tellis Chapman's expression this morning. If there's a praise in you, won't you let it out today? When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me, my soul, my soul, Hallelujah, hallelujah, that's all right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My Lord and Savior. Just tell somebody, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. You don't know what I went through yesterday. You don't know what I went through last week to get here this morning. You don't know, you don't know. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know the trouble, you don't know the headaches, you don't know the heartaches. Thank God I'm here. Thank God. Thank God I'm here. I wish you'd tell somebody, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I wish I had about 30 of you that had a Miss Seeley theology. <laughs> Miss Seeley said, I may be black, I may be poor. She said, I might even be ugly. 
She said, but I'm still here. I don't care how bad you think it is. I need at least 30 of you all just to thank God that you're still here. May not be the best, but I'm still here. May not feel the best, but I'm still here. Turn around, tell somebody, I'm still here. Like, tag, share, and comment. This church still burns with heavenly fire. Sinners are caught in Christ's spiritual net. We thank you for worshiping with the Greater Burnett Church of Detroit, Michigan. We thank you for being with us today on this universal celebration, this birthday of the Universal Church. This day, 50 days after the resurrection, 10 days after the ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, where we can celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. How many of you can say, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost? Come on, let me see you raise that right hand high as you can and just say, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, say it this morning. Woo! Say it, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God in us all above us all yes i am a believer i am forgiven i am free i am favored i am blood washed You can worship with us. You can worship with us all through the week, all through the week. All through the week. You can join us. You can join us. Just put the information up there. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just excited. I'm blood washed. I'm fire baptized. <laughs> you can't make me doubt him. <laughs> I know too much about him. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me I'm his own. The joy in being saved. The joy. Thank you, Trustee King. Well, that information has been put up there. Whatever we're supposed to do, uh, we, we're doing it. We want you to give, and he's putting that information up there. Want you to give, and all of that, all of that stuff, all of that. Do what you're supposed to do. I know who I am. <laughs> I know who I belong to. My God. My God. Glory to Jesus. Yes.
the saints of old would say I wouldn't have a religion. But I couldn't feel sometime. We better, we better move on. I'm trusting, thank you. <laughs> why don't you, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you? Bless you. We're thankful to have all of you. If you're visiting, just hold your hand up. And nobody, if you're visiting, just hold your hand up for us. God bless you. We love you. So glad you're here. Hope you come back. More than that, don't put your hand up, Pat White. More than that, we hope that you can feel the presence of God here today. We hope. The Bible does say, let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. This is what it's about. This Holy Spirit deal with me. Let's let's get ready for prayer. So many of you visiting with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Pansy Flower. Thank you for being here. Thank all of you, our friends from Third New Hope. Hold your hands up, ladies. So glad. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you all. So many of you. Who is it? Where is she? Where's Lamar? Bless you. Bless you, sweetheart, my Facebook friend. Somebody who has been a part of this family. You know, there's a saying around here that once you're a Bernetta, you're always a Bernetta. Somebody who's been a part of our family a long time. Bless you, Sister Lamar. So glad to have you today. Brother Caleb, our new members, Brother Caleb, joined with us last Sunday. And uh, it's Reverend Diane Johnson who joined with us last Monday. Stand up, Reverend. Let the church see you. Praise the Lord, our new preacher, Reverend Johnson. It's three, John it's three preaching Johnsons in here now. Praise the Lord. We, we don't die, we multiply. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Praying for you, Sister Stevenson. Praying for you, Brother Sherman Guyton. We're praying for you, Sister Ebony Smith, the wife of Reverend Mario Smith in the hospital as well. We're praying for you. So many sick, sudden, so many deaths among us. Seem like we just keep having home goings and some of our cities 
great musicians. Brother Larry Nix went home to be with the Lord. And Sister Tina Weathers went home to be with the Lord. Brother Brian Beck went home to be with the Lord. So many are leaving here. But you know, I thank God those of us that are here, he still has a purpose. He still has a plan. We're going to get ready for prayer. Would you stand? Ushers, would you close those center doors and try to keep it cool in here? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Deal with me. Deal with me. Please. Deal with, me. Deal with me. Take what's wrong. Take what's wrong. And make it right. And make it right. Spirit, deal. Spirit, deal throughout the night. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Deal with me. Deal with me. I give you. I give you authority. authority. Until all in my life becomes yours. One more time, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, deal with me, deal with me, oh, Holy Spirit, deal with me, deal with me. Whatever's wrong, make what's wrong, please make it right. Wanted to be yours until until becomes I wanted to be yours, Lord. Every head bowed, every eye closed, our Father and our God. We come humbly today. We come sincerely today. We come reverently today. We come joyfully today. Thanking you, O oh God, for the another day. Thanking you, O oh God, for the beginning of another week. Thanking you, O oh God, for this Pentecost Sunday. This day where we could celebrate your move in us. Your power in us. Your strength in us. Your help in us. Thank you for your Holy Ghost power. Thank you for your Holy Ghost power today. The power that draws us closer to you. The power that convicts us when we're wrong. The power that leads us into righteousness. Thank you for your Holy Ghost power. Now, Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Fall fresh on us today. Fall fresh as we worship you. Fall fresh as we praise your name. Fall fresh as we declare your word. Fall fresh on us this morning.
breathe on us. Move in us. Have your way today in the name of Jesus. Touch the sick, touch the afflicted, touch the bereaved, touch the incarcerated, touch the hospitalized like Brother Guyton and Sister Smith, touch the bereaved like Mother Collins, touch, oh God, the bereaved like the Dijonette family in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray that you have your way today. We pray that we hear from heaven today. We pray that we feel the fire burning today. We pray, oh God, that we be transformed through your power today. Break every chain. Destroy every yoke. Lift every burden. Set every captive free. Heal every sick body. Save every unsaved soul. Move on the altar of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Fix us, creating us clean hearts, renewing us your right Holy Spirit. Fix us today, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. We love you, God. Oh, we love you today. We honor you, we praise you, we magnify you. We lift you up. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You've done so much for us. You've been so good to us. You've looked beyond our faults. And you've seen and supplied our needs. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. We honor you today. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name. Bless us, oh God. Bless us as only you can. Those that are watching, those that are listening, those that are present with us physically today, bless today. Move in a mighty way. Move in a mighty way supernaturally move today miraculously move today overwhelmingly move today have that own way Lord have that own way Lord have that own way in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus amen 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 Amen. Amen. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you. Bless your holy and righteous name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much. I want to just give some highlights as we move swiftly to the word on this coming Tuesday we will suspend our Christian Stewart's Bible Institute one of our longtime members sister Jesse Dijonet went home to be with the Lord last week and we will be eulogizing her this Tuesday from the Butler Funeral Home on the city's east side. So we will suspend our study because we are obligated to be with that family and ask you to keep them in your prayers. Sister Jesse lived to be almost 100 years old. We thank God. Long time member of this congregation. One who worked with our Nurses Guild for many years. Bless you all. Bless you all, Mother 
Buckingham, 91 years old. Hold your hand up, mother. So glad to see you. Mother Parker, 84 years old. Hold your hand up, Mother Parker. We don't, when we get to a certain point, we're not ashamed. Amen. We know how good God's been to us, Sister Henderson. We don't get shame. How old are you, Mother Carol? 82. Hold your hand up, Mother Carol. Mother Smith. 87. Look at that. Hold your hand up. Bless you. And bringing it up the. All right. Bless you. Look at her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Bless you, Mother Jesse Smith, my first nurse. Amen. When I started preaching, she would go with me over this city. Even before I was the pastor here, she would go with me. I thank God for her. And Mother Susie Ford, 80 years old. Look at Mother Ford. Bless you. All right, Mother Ford. Don't fuss under that mask. I want you to smile under that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Bless you all. Bless you all. Bless you all. These deacons that are here with us, they put a little gold on with theirs, and I put a little red on with mine because I, I, I have the fire. <laughs> Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> Bless your heart. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to uh, preach. I am going to try to talk about this. Minister Mendengal, uh, as I prepare to bring the message, I would that you would play a stanza of amazing grace for me. Uh, before you play, let me remind all of you all that the committee, an elder will tell you this at the end, but the committee uh, has asked us to be in concert next Sunday at 5 o'clock, and we need somebody to sing too. Amen. Amen. That means I want you to come back next Sunday. They'll tell you they're going to have dinner and stuff and all of that. They'll tell you more about that, but please come back. Our young people, we are, as we prepare to infiltrate our things are getting lighter in a sense and we prepared to infiltrate our music ministry uh, somewhat on the vein of the way we were going pre-pandemic. I want to thank God for these young people that have carried us this year and a half. They have lended their voices every Sunday rain, shine, sleet, and snow, uh, and uh, they have done it in a spirit of excellence, and I'm not saying it because, uh, well, all of them, this is just like the soap opera, all of them diamond are all my children, is that right? <laughs> and, um, but let me uh, express my gratitude to my son in whom I'm well pleased in. He has, who has uh, who has uh, coordinated and everything from what they wear to what they sing this year and a half. He's been on it and I thank God because the Lord is showing me that this church will go on. This ministry 
will go on. And I thank and praise God for that hope. God has blessed us, Minister Grantham, and he's been with us this entire time. And then God has blessed us with this goat. I called him the goat the other day, and he asked me, was I calling him an animal? I call him the greatest of all time <laughs> who helps carry the rich legacy we have of music ministry, the one and only, the incomparable. I took him to Toledo, and I'm still getting calls about him, Minister Michael Mendengar, who is blessing us. So the church is going on, the church is going on. We have hope as a church. We have hope as a church that this church will carry on. Minister Grantham will galvanize these young people and go on. And I'm not going to hinder them. As long as they're doing the right thing, I'm going to let them go. I'd rather have them in here than out there. And the Lord is just blessing because uh, I, after this concert, Brother Caleb will be with us, and he's a 16-year-old young man who has special musical ability. And so the church is going on. And that's what we want. Amen. That's what we want. We want the church to go on. I'm so glad to see you, Sister Pearly Goss. So glad to see you. Bless your heart. Hold your hand up there. I haven't seen you in a while. Bless you. I'm trying to see. I think most of you are familiar. I've seen you lately, but I'm glad to see you all again. And uh, always... Good. I feel myself blessed to be uh, almost 34, and I have my mom still with me. And then I'm duly blessed because I have Deacon and Sister Kelly, who are my father and mother in love with me. And they always, they have always been so supportive. I feel bad for folk who have problems with their in-laws. I've never had that problem, thank God. Evangelist Point Day says a terrible problem. <laughs> Didn't she preach last Sunday? Give Evangelist Point Day a round of applause. One Dexter had a nerve to have a lesson and a hoop. She took that hand and she said, yes. I said, wait a minute now. Go ahead, go ahead. I just love to see people operate in their own gifting and calling, in their own authenticity. You don't have to do it like somebody else. Do it the way God gave you to do it. We're going to start on time next Sunday at 5 o'clock, so be on time now. Be on time. Because when Clay strikes up that Lord prayer, the choir coming in, and we're going to sing till the power of the Lord come down. Would you play Amazing Grace for me? My cousin Arthur Russell in Mississippi, this is for you today.
If you know it was grace, yeah, oh yeah, my Lord, my Lord, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, bless you, thank you. the apostles. <laughs> Ooh. Grace woke me up this morning.
going to try to get through this if y'all would leave me alone. Just tell somebody, yes, he does. Don't know how, don't know when, but he makes everything. Don't know what you're going through, but tell somebody, it's all right. Be not dismayed, whatever be time. God will. He'll make it all right. He'll make it all right. Give somebody an elbow. Tell them he'll make it all right. I, 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 I know he will. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Somebody going through it real bad right now, but I want you to know, if you don't get nothing else today, put your trust in Jesus. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care what the doctor said. Put your trust in Jesus. He'll make everything. Weeping may endure for a night. Somebody ought to help me say joy. Somebody ought to help me say joy. Tell somebody morning is on the way. All right. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try one more time. X. <laughs> I would try one more time. I've got something on the inside. <laughs> I 
I've got something on the inside. I got peace at last <laughs> that cannot be surpassed. I've got love divine. I've got joy that I never could find. I've got the brightest star that shines. I've got heaven on my mind. I've got Jesus and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Anybody know you saved? Down in my soul. I feel like Bishop David Ellis now. I hear joy bell. All right, all right. I'm going to try one more time. Acts chapter 2. On the, I'm reading from the New Living, verse 1. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, <laughs> somebody ought to help me say suddenly. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven <laughs> like a roaring of a mighty windstorm. And it filled the house Woo! where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them the ability. Take your seat. Take your seat. If you can. <laughs> Thank God. Somebody ought to say suddenly. <laughs> Somebody ought to say suddenly. <laughs> Do you know we serve a suddenly kind of God? He can heal you suddenly. He can deliver you suddenly. He can save you suddenly. <laughs> hallelujah, I don't have I don't have a lot of education and I don't I'm trying to get some more I don't have a lot of knowledge and a lot of other areas but one thing I know I've been born again Do you know that about yourself? One thing I know Show, show Show been born again It is our belief. The Lord is here. Woo. The Lord.
Lord is here. Surely the Lord is here. He's here, I tell you. He's here, I tell you. Somebody's being healed today. Somebody's being delivered today. Physically, mentally, chains are being broken. Yokes are being destroyed. Suddenly, just elbow somebody, tell them suddenly. Suddenly, 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 suddenly. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There's a freedom here today. There's a freedom here today in this room right now. Wherever you are, won't you lift your hands, even if you are here virtually, won't you praise the Lord? Just lift your hands and say, yes, Lord. Come on, lift your hands and say, yes, Lord. Come on and say, yes, Lord. Come on and say, yes, Lord. He's here today. And while your hand is lifted, whatever you need, why don't you tell him? Don't tell him for me, but tell him for yourself. Whatever you need, why don't you tell him today? Maybe you need something that money can't buy. Why don't you tell him today? Why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell him? The Holy Spirit is here. Oh! Surely the Lord is here. <laughs> Surely the Lord is here. Surely the Lord is in this place. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. My God. The presence of the Lord is here. Yeah, yeah. The presence of the Lord is here. Whatever you need, I want everybody praying. I want everybody praying, every soul praying, every head bowed, everybody praying. Whatever you need, 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 I want you praying about it right now. While the Lord is here, while the presence of the Lord is here. He said, if you believe as the scriptures have said, in your belly, in your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Whatever you need, whatever you need, whatever you need, every head bowed. He said, ask and it shall be given. He said, seek and ye shall find. He said, knock and the door will be open. Whatever you need, the Holy Spirit is here right now. You can be filled, you can be refilled, you can be revived you can be restrengthened you can be rejuvenated you can be renewed you can be restored you your family your your children god can do it right now but i want you praying whatever it is whatever it is whatever it is talk to him about it 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 Talk to him about it. Talk to him about it. Talk to him about it. Whatever it is, whatever it is, he knows. Just talk to him. Because it's, it's, a, 
Today is a suddenly kind of day. Today is a suddenly kind of situation. Whatever you need, whatever you need, it can happen suddenly. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. It can happen right now, right now, right now. Just every head bowed, every head bowed. Maybe it's healing. Maybe it's deliverance. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way today. We came for you to have your way. We came for you to have your way. We came for you to have your way. Have your way in this place. Oh, we came for you to have your way. We came for you to have your way. <laughs> we came for you to have your way in this place. Oh, yes, we did. on us and fall fresh fall fresh on us now Every, while you're praying, believe. Put some faith in that prayer. Put some faith in it. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to him must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligence seek him. Put some faith in it. Put some faith in it. Oh, my, 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 God, my, God. Ooh. Oh, suddenly, suddenly. Oh, suddenly, 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 suddenly. How many of you have prayed? Hold that hand up. How many of you believe what you prayed about? How do you mean you believe God is able? Hold your hand up. Hold that hand up if you believe God is able. Before we go any further, if you believe God is able, won't you praise God for what he's already done? This is what, I had all this stuff together, but <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, I 
I was going to talk about the fact that this is a fulfillment of a promise. He said, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh in Joel chapter 2. He said, I'll pour my spirit out on all flesh. He says, I'll pour my spirit out on all flesh. He's going to talk about that. That what happened in that room, the same room where Jesus gave communion, was a fulfillment of prophecy. It was a fulfillment of a promise. But then it was a fulfillment of power. Because we need the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus made it plain in John chapter 16. I've got to go. But I won't leave you comfortless. <laughs> oh, I had it all together, Cooper. I was going to pull up my leg and show my sock off. And <laughs> But suddenly, mother, because the sponsor always has a right to interrupt the program. <laughs> Anointing. Real slow, real slow, real slow, real slow, Chris. Fall on me. <laughs> oh, no. Anointing, my God. Fall. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing, anointing, anointing fall on me. Clay, Clay, give him that mic. I want him to sing that one time. Sing that line just real slow, just like I did. Sing it. Sing it. Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Fall down on me, my God. Let the power of the Holy Ghost he fall, <laughs> fall down on me. <laughs> Let her, let her sing that too. Let her sing that one time too.
Let the power, let the power. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall <laughs> on me. My God. Sing a little bit of it, Raven. Sing it one line. Sing it, Carly. I want you to sing a little bit of it. Listen to me, shh, real soft. Is there somebody here who have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Raise your hand. Shh. Is there one? the church home. Raise your hand. All right. All I want to say to you is this. I don't have to say anything to you because you're my friend, but what I want to say is this. If you don't have a church home, today's a good day. I'll come get you I'll put some hand sanitizer in my hand and hold your hand but the main thing don't get anything yet brother the main thing shh, the main thing Number one, you're saved. And then you have a place where you show the benefits of salvation <laughs> by doing the work of the ministry. Now, if someone is here today, maybe you've been praying and pondering 
And I know this is not a typical Sunday morning, but it wasn't supposed to be. Wasn't supposed to be. I, I, I found out that one of the things that have messed us up is we become in such a habit we don't leave space for the Holy Spirit. Robin Henderson, we've got to leave room for the Lord to have his way. So good to see you, Mickey. But now, if there's one that would like to join this church today, just hold your hand up. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. I think I saw two hands go up. I said, I think I saw two hands go up. Let's give God some praise. Two hands went up. Come on, digging this cup. Welcome home. Your father helped start this work some almost 70 years ago with the late Dr. J. Allen Caldwell. Both of them are gone now. But I know heaven is rejoicing. You made it back home. You made it back home. That's Sister Ziegler, isn't it? I know who it is. I'm learning under these masks. My friend, my friend. Welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. I know these people to be saved. Their, grand, their parents and grandparents made sure that they were saved. Their parents and grandparents made sure that they had a foundation of Jesus Christ. Reverend and Mrs. Petty, who are both now asleep, made sure that their daughter and granddaughter had a relationship with the Lord. They're already baptized. They're already saved. We just welcome them home today. Come on, let's welcome them home real big. Give me. Love you, baby. So good to see you. Yes. They don't sing stuff like that no more. Coming home. <laughs> Coming home. Never more to roam open wide thine arms of love Lord I'm coming Coming home, <laughs> I come to the garden alone <laughs> while the dew is still on the roses. Y'all don't hear stuff like that no more, do you? And the voice I hear, that's my mama's song. <laughs> Falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he 
tells me I am his own. Isn't that a joy? <laughs> and the joy. Isn't it a joy in having a relationship with the Lord for yourself? Isn't it a joy in being saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost? What a joy. He tells me. I know who I belong to. He doesn't disown me. Even when I mess up, he loves me unconditionally. I'm not a bastard, Cooper. I know who I belong to. Oh, y'all better leave me alone. Leave me alone. We've got to go. We've got to go, children. Isn't it good, Juanita Davis, to know who you belong to? In the midnight hour when you're all by yourself, Mother Buckingham, you can have a talk with the Lord. Nobody but you and him. He'll tell you, I got you. <laughs> He'll tell you, I'm with you. He'll tell you, I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. I know mother is gone. I know father is gone. But I'm right here with you. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. You're never alone. He walks with you, church. <laughs> he talks with you. They used to ask a question, Leslie, who's going down in the grave with me, Mother Laura Lee? Mama can't go in the grave with me. Daddy can't go in the grave with me. But Jesus, he go down in there with me. And he'll get me up. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. I'm so glad that I'm more biblical than denominational. I'm so glad that I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. I'm so glad that I believe Sister Robin Henderson in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. I'm so glad I believe he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. I'm so glad I believe in the Holy Spirit, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Somebody say, I believe. If I didn't believe, Sister, Sister Evelyn, if I didn't believe, I'd be in bad shape. I'd be oppressed, depressed, suppressed. But since I believe, I can get up in the morning. Knowing that the Lord will make a way. All these years, I've been taking this walk with the Lord. The Lord bless me. Somebody said, will God do it? Let me tell you something. Deacon Caver, yes, he will. I got married. I was 23 years old. Didn't have a pot or a window. Somebody know what I'm talking about. But, you can, but we've never missed a meal. We've never been outdoors. 
Somebody know God will make a way. He's a way maker. He's a promise keeper. I was a baby and had babies myself. But he'd been with me every step of the way. I told my wife the other day, I said, I know one day one of us going to lead the other. I said, but until then, as long as God keeps making a way, we're going to be all right. God will make a way, Mother Carol. Put your trust in Jesus. Don't let people make you feel bad about how blessed you are. They don't know what you've been through to get your blessing. They don't know. They don't know. They see you at the table, but they didn't see you go through the valley. You see me sitting at the table, but you don't know about my valley experience. What I get to go through to get to the table. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Bring me a table. Bring me the, bring me the offering table. Where's the table we used to put out? I'm good, I'm good. They be so worried about me, but I'm all right. I could stand up here and preach a whole 45 minutes. Sermon. I'm just fine. I know y'all be worried about me, but I feel good. If I could stand up here at 313, you know I can stand. I was 313 pounds walking pews. You talking about faith. You talking about, you want to ask me, do I have faith? I used to walk these bitches and couldn't see my shoes from my belly. Oh, I'm looking straight down today. Glory to God. Clay too. But you ain't walked no benches yet. <laughs> I don't move those pans for me. Hold it. I want to do something. I want to. Everybody's saved. We want to. Thank God for our new family members, our family members. This is a growing church. Come on, praise God. This is a growing church. I know today I couldn't do this. Thank God I can now. I want every person that's asking for an envelope, hold your hand up. Now, whatever you're going to give with today, I want you to have a, your seed, and along with your seed, I want you to have what you're praying for this week. I'm, come here, Lucy. Sit that down right there and get that sanitizer for me. Just stand right there. That's perfect. 
every person you're going to come to me single file and I will call you you have your mask on when you come up here now make sure your mask on whatever you asking God for this week I'm going to touch and agree with you this is what the Lord told me to do we're not going to hold you. I'm just going to say in the name of Jesus, hold that prayer. Whatever you're asking God for, you hold it in your heart. All right. So that when I say in the name of Jesus, I'm touching and agreeing with you for whatever you're asking God for. If you don't... Yeah, everybody has one. Everybody, everybody, all of you have been obedient with your mask. Don't forget Sister Ziegler. Uh, they're coming to you, Sister Ziegler. Sister Jan Williams. Is that Nan Marks? Bless you, Nan. You got some hands up going toward the rear. Every person, every person. Help her out, Sister and Nan. Thank you. Hold your hand up if you're in the rear and don't have a. Come in, Nan. You come this way toward me because you have some on this side. That's right. Bring it over, Elder. I want them. Matter of fact, give it to Cooper. Give it to Cooper. Cooper ain't going to do nothing with it. Where's Deacon Clemens at? Give that to Deacon Clemens, Cooper. Deacon Clemens, I want you to move over just a little, son. Deacon Clemens, my deacon, stand right there. Back. Yep. Turn around, though. Face me. Back up just a little. Toward the end of that row. Yep, that's perfect. That's perfect. 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 Anybody need an envelope? Yeah, come right on by me. Good to see you, Betty. That's fine. Absolutely. You'll stand over here. For, give that to... Just, that's, I'm doing one for that. Give that to Betty. Betty reminded me today is the fourth Sunday. If you have a, a pastor support gift, Betty's going to be standing over here. Everybody that need an envelope, get an envelope. Shh. We're going to let you go. But everybody that need an envelope, I, you're asking, this is a suddenly type of day. And this is a suddenly type of week. I'm believing with you, whatever you're praying for this week, I'm going to stand in agreement with you. I'm going to touch and agree with you. My nurse is here with my sanitizer. Don't worry. This is all about faith right now. This is a faith walk. I'm going to believe with you that whatever you're asking God for this week, God's going to do it. Now, if you, what I want you to do, when it happens, come back next Sunday and just say it happened. Just say it happened. Because we believe in by faith. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm believing healings, miracles. I believe this is a suddenly kind of week. Because this is Pentecost Sunday, I'm believing this week is going to be a supernatural week for you. But we got to do it the way God give it. Now, if on the left, I don't want everybody standing. Stand up, sister Annette. Hold your, where you, hold your hand up, Annette Golston. Now, where you are, those of you that are behind her, if you want to come bring your gift, stand. Come to the outer aisle. If you're behind her, Come single file. Stand. Remember, you you come round, come come round. Whatever you're praying for this week, hold it in your heart and your mind, because we're gonna touch and agree. I'm gonna do it just the way God give it. You got to be led, Mother Lordly. You got to be led. You got to do it the way God give it. Praise God. God bless you. I pray that something was said or done in this worship 
experience to strengthen you on your Christian journey. Look, we've had an awesome time in the Lord, and I want you to know that I, Pastor Johnson, am so delighted and excited that you took the time to worship with the Greater Burnett Church family today. Listen, please, ma'am, please, sir, like, tag, and share. Let others know under this hashtag, Burnett everywhere that we are still burning with heavenly fire and sinners are still being caught in Christ's spiritual net. Until next week, we are praying with you. We're praying for you. God loves you. And so do I.